everybody and welcome back to yet another bridge review today we're checking out the brand new or the brand new and updated i should say uh self say i'm very very excited to check him out um i don't have any of the old ones because i'm not a fan of the old horses i think you guys know that by now i like the new ones the new updated the new you know the well animated stuff not the the crusty <laughs> like 1.5 horses um but i am excited to see these because i feel like they deserve an update so Without further ado, I guess let's check him out. I find it interesting that they've created this whole like hub for uh, the Warmbloods now at Zorglia Manor. Now the Belgians moved a little bit, um, a little while ago, to uh, to Golden Leaf Stables instead. But I think it makes sense to have them here. Like they're supposed to be sport horses, right? A lot of people. That's fine, and that is expected. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Oh, I like this little UI update. But it's a little bit easier to see the coats now. <laughs> That's good. Um, let's check him out then, I guess. First of all, this coat. Oh, <laughs> that is gorgeous. Such a lovely, I don't know what you call this coat, but it's like a lovely suity color. I love it. The daffles are great. And I am a sucker for a pinto. You guys know that by now. Let's see, we have a nice chestnut. That's very red. That's very pretty. Nice bay. Oh. Slightly spotted gray, very good. The black is nice. More paints, yes. Oh, I love this one. This one actually looks a lot like a horse I've been seeing at shows last year. <laughs> That's so cool. I love the stage of graying out for them when they do get this black and when they are this black for so long. That looks great. Honestly, the coats are really nice. They're very well detailed. They look very... They do look very, like, saturated. But especially the bay and the chestnut. They look very red. Which I'm not entirely sure I'm a big fan of. But it's like, it doesn't look bad. It's just, like, very intense. It's a very deep color. With... Um, I don't want to say not a lot of shading, because that's not true. Obviously, there's a lot of highlights and nice. I really like the, the shiny definitions on the on the shoulders here. That's very nice. It's just like the, the color itself is maybe like a little bit flat, but there's definitely there are horses that are this flat in color. So they do look very nice. It looks so cool. I love the four white socks. I'm a sucker for four white socks and a big blaze. That's so cool. But I am also a big sucker for paints, and this one really stood out to me. I think I'm going with this one. Let's check out the main styles. So the default main looks nice, but it does look kind of blocky. Like, it looks like it's big chunks of hair. Which I'm not- I will have a look closer when we're in the arena, but it's like, it's just spontaneously, it doesn't look fantastic. Some nice button braids. At least standing up. Interesting. There's like standing braids instead of like laying down. That's a nice long mane. It looks a little bit thin, which I think makes sense for this horse. Like kind of not super fluffy. It's just like a long mane. That looks good. That looks really nice, actually. It's very good. The roach mane is a roach mane. I'm not a huge fan of that unless it's for like specific horses. Same thing with this one. Long braids making a comeback. The more, the bigger, like, braids to lay down. And then this one. So which one is this? Is this more like the, the Belgian? It looks more like the Belgian or the Dutch warm blood. Um, main, actually. It also looks more saturated than the, that one. Look how much darker it is than compared to the original. It's strange. Not as much in the tail as it is. But I do, I I don't know, this this default main does look a little bit blocky. I'm not a huge fan of it. So this one looks way better in my opinion. But like It looks more defined. I think I'm actually going to stick to that one. I have no idea for a name. I should have probably looked this up beforehand. <laughs> okay, Moonzap. Monza. You know you know, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's go. I'm excited to check these out, actually. Um, so... There with me while I pop back home and switch horse and outfit. All right, time to actually look at this guy. Um, <laughs> so the the idle animations are kind of funny. They're very busy, um, which is like fine, I guess. But it's gonna be a pain to like 
take pictures and stuff with a bunch of people but they do look very very nice like the model is super nice it looks very athletic i think if i'm not mistaken i saw somewhere that um these horses were kind of supposed to be i can't remember if it was phrased as an all-around horse or as a cross-country horse i can't remember exactly what was said but it was basically supposed to be like a middle ground of the dutch form blood which is a dressage horse and the belgian one that was a show jumping horse so i'm excited to see kind of what they bring here and i do think that they look really good they look very um there's a lot of leg going on <laughs> like a lot of leg um their stature is very like leggy i guess i don't know <laughs> how else to say it because they're very lanky um quite thin i guess you could see like you know kind of the thoroughbred um inspired jeans kind of because here's the thing, we've now had a couple of warm bloods. Um, I'm a big warm blood girly, you know that. The thing with the warm blood is that a warm blood isn't really a breed. It's a stud book. You have a Dutch warm blood, you can have um, a Belgian warm blood, you can have a Swedish warm blood. I can have all those three horses can be out of the same stallion, still be registered in different stud books. That's just how that works. <laughs> like if somebody asks like, a show jumper or whatever what breed is your horse they're gonna say who's the sire who's maybe who's the dam or who's the grandfather because that's what's relevant um and they'll possibly say like out of what stud buck or in which country they're bred but it's like not it's not a specific breed um which is why it's hard to make a specific breed in star stable because no two horses are gonna look the same i think it's more you can tell at what time horses were bred if you look at horses from like the 90s and stuff they were a lot stronger a lot bulkier a lot heavier the sport horses i mean um the warm bloods while today we have them a lot more they're bred a, more, a lot more high strong they're a lot more sensitive usually a little bit thinner more athletic generally not everybody because it's a stud buck it's not a breed it's not like it doesn't have breed specifics if that makes sense that's why it's so hard to make a good warm blood that is representative because all of them look different basically that being said, I think that this is like, this looks like a really nice modern warm blood. Um, it does look like it's probably got a bit of like thoroughbred blood um, in it because it's very kind of thin, very athletic, long legs, you know, a running type, um, which I think would make sense if it's a cross country horse. But I think that's very interesting. I think that's a really nice approach because the, the Belgian warm blood was kind of a little bit more stocky, a bit more powerful, kind of made to really like, you know, pop off the ground kind of that sort of thing. While the Dutch one blood was a lot more uphill, built a lot um, for a lot of movement in the shoulders and in the chest area, and a lot of like, you know, exaggerated movements. This horse looks just like speedy, athletic, um, durable, which you would want from a from a cross country horse. So I guess without further ado, <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the gates. Oh, okay. This definitely looks like the animations from another horse, and I can't exactly pinpoint which one, which bothers me a little bit. How do I dissect this? Where do we start? Guess where I'm going to start? I'm going to start with the hind legs and the butt, like I always do. It's doing that thing with the back legs where it feels like the length is not consistent. Um, the back legs are very long, which is like, yeah, it can be a really long legged horse. I have a couple of those at home, you know, but it's like, kind of it's stepping under itself a lot but it's never it's that whole thing like where it doesn't actually stretch out it doesn't actually push off the ground this is as far back as it goes it looks like anyways always that we always talk about that extension moment what is this this crouched thing um that looks weird that looks very weird and also the fact that it like in front it kind of reminds me oh which horse is it i think it might be the belgian but i'm not entirely sure but it's like it looks very stiff in front like extremely stiff here it's stiff, too straight. Here it's like too limber and loose and has too many joints in its body. Which also makes it look really disoriented or like this, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? English. I don't speak it. Um, it looks like it's split in two, basically. It looks like it's crouching down, uh, in behind and like not stepping out of itself. It's just like kind of, you know, it just looks very odd. I don't like that walk at all. The head carriage is very nice. I like, and it does move a little bit through its neck, but it's just like, why is it so stiff here? And then so weird here. If it just like, if it just finalized that step and actually finished, like actually stepped through the hind leg, through the joint here, instead of 
lifting already here you know what i mean i'm not saying it has to like go a full extension but it's like it, it looks like it's crouching we talk about this often because it's often an issue i find that it looks like the horses are crouching i will say the shading and the animation of the rigging of the hind knees so far in the walk looks very good because it looks like it actually goes into itself does that make sense like they've done a very good job of of shading the hind knee so that it looks like this is just a flap of skin a thin flap of skin that actually stretches and compresses when the horse moves that's very nice it's just the whole like it looks like so when it stands it looks fine it looks fine and then it starts walking and it feels like it crouches over it feels like it tucks its butt under itself um which looks very awkward uh from behind it looks fine very swishy tail i like that super cute face i love the little floppy ears that's so adorable but yeah it's the it's it looks constipated okay let's have a look at the trot it's a very springy trot which i think looks cool is this an issue with the writing arena or is the the fact that the animation actually doesn't touch the ground okay, that might be the writing arena ground i will not judge that i don't know that put all of that on on the animation but same thing here it's so stiff in the front legs here it doesn't have to be in this a super exaggerated like the dutch warm blood because it's not a dressage horse and that's fine but it's like it looks it doesn't look sound it just looks like it's kind of like you know straight legs and everything and then it's doing the same thing here again it's i don't know why but it's there's a lot of movement going up here in the like si joint <laughs> Which is a little bit strange. Like, why is it tucking under itself so much? Like, the movement here is so much, which feels a little bit uncomfortable. It doesn't really make sense. And again, it's the spider leg, like, no stability in the haunches, which is something we've talked about in, like, the Morgan, I think it was. Uh, honestly, we talked about it in so many horses. I think the Mustang, kind of, as well. Like, a lot of horses in this game have that issue. Kind of like there's no stability it's better the oh the uh the extension phase here like the stretch is better than it is in the walk it's still the fact like you can see how how bent it is like that doesn't make sense why is why is this bent this is a bone it's not supposed to bend like it feels like the fetlock like it feels like it's rubber that's what it feels like and it also like the fact that there's no movement. This is the maximum extension of the horse, which is like it's so locked and stiff in the front here and it kind of falls through. Like it looks like it's built uphill, but not in a good way. It looks like it's built uphill because it's weak in the hind instead of like the Dutch Wormla that actually looks like it's built uphill. So you can kind of see the top line. It feels like it falls backwards a little bit. Um, the head carriage is nice. I really like the head carriage. Um, I like the little springy... Uh, kind of springy neck they've got going on but the the whole back carriage thing it does not look great there's just no extension there's no um again it doesn't have to be a dressage horse it just has to be like um supple through the body instead of looking like it needs a joint injection immediately <laughs> because that's what it looks like right now actually you know what i'm gonna take off the leg wraps because i'm afraid that it actually is if oh, that it's actually affected by that the trot you can kind of see it it stands fine like posted up but it's a little bit like i think the front okay hello and welcome to today's farrier school with jess can you see this yes you can okay this angle a properly should horse or barefoot whatever but like a proper uh leg position of a horse is straight down here and then there should be a straight line from here to the middle of the foot there's a straight line here and there's a line here and then there's a line down the hoof there and it's doing the same thing in behind here it goes from the haunches to the fetlock to the hoof joint down through the hoof this is not a good leg position which i think is what's messing up the movement because it actually moves like it moves very bad <laughs> because of this because it has a super exaggerated this is normal because there's a little bit of flexion a bit of tension kind of got that springy step that's how joints work because they cushion the walk and whatever but like the problem is when there's never a point where this line is straight there's never a point where like the leg is in a neutral position Here, here's a great example of what i'm talking about you can see here it never actually straightens out 
the fetlock joint never actually goes fully straight. It just kind of bunches up in the hoof here. That's the rigging issue here, I think. That's what's making it look so awkward. So you, my friend, you need a new farrier. <laughs> That's what you need. <laughs> a bit of corrective shoeing or um, barefoot trim work to make sure that you're not standing as improper as you currently are. Because goddamn. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, I feel like that that kind of a lot of the issues that I'm seeing in the gate stems from that, and also the fact that it's like overly animated here, up in the butt, and never actually straightens out properly, in my opinion. As you can see here, here you have the the issue. Like the, here, the hoof should be kind of planted on the ground, right? But it's not. And I'm not just talking about the fact that I think that animation is kind of floating. I mean, like it never actually straightens out that joint. The one that's like in the hoof here. Collected canter. Again, I feel like this is an animation from another horse. Oh my god, you know what that almost looks like? That almost looks like the old Arabian slash Pendabian. The weird kind of like sneaky, hesitant like strides that look a little bit uncomfortable. And again, you know, like I feel like it's better here. Because here it actually surp um, surpasses the, the joint a little bit. But it's like, it never fully, like... I don't know, it's just like, it's that weird crouching, like, ooh, and it doesn't feel like it's smooth in a way. Like, it feels like it hesitates for some reason. <laughs> Again, it's just like that weird uphill, but not honestly uphill thing. I feel like the front looks a lot better here, though. Here you have kind of the opposite problem. Why is the foot not straight here? Like this whole section here, the fetlock section, looks so awkward. Like it feels like the fetlock is by default twisted a little bit, which is why it never fully like... Like here, the toe should be kind of straight, like because the horse is kind of in a relaxed state where it's about to reach forward, right? Like it's about to plant its foot on the ground, but it's planting it like toe first kind of. It's not planning the foot flat. It's again just like a lot of crouching. The extension here is better, but still, it's that it's that fetlock that's messing everything up. I think if it just was a little bit more straight like that, if it went about this far, well. But now it looks a little bit awkward. Again, lovely head carriage though. I'm loving this like open frame, and the little wiggly ears. The horse is adorable. Like, come on, look at look at this face. I mean. Hello. That is so cute. I love it. But yes, okay. Um, so that collected canter, it's not the worst I've seen, but it does remind me of the old Pentabian collected canter, which is weird, because why would you be picking those animations from the like Gen one and a half or whatever horses? <laughs> I don't know what that one is, maybe it's Gen 2. I can't remember. But yeah, so Ugh. Just like it looks way too small in the back and too big in the front. It's big and stiff here. It's low and small and crouched in the back. That's kind of been the whole. That's been the consistency of these three gates so far. Usually they do their best gate is the the middle canter or the, the slow gallop or whatever you want to call it. So I have some hopes now. Please don't disappoint me. I'm a little bit disappointed. Okay, but here's kind of what I was talking about, the whole uh, like thoroughbred inspiration thing. Because that's what this feels like. This feels like it's thoroughbred inspired. Like the way you would see cross country horses um, kind of canter when they're out in the... I keep saying cross country horses, sorry, because that's kind of how we say, it's kind of what we say in Sweden, kind of. I'm talking about eventing horses. I've just realized that I've been saying cross country this whole time. Cross country is the the actual discipline or whatever the the actual moment eventing is the whole uh, discipline the sport okay sorry now that we got out of the way i know that's probably bothered some of you totally understandable my mistake this is kind of what we would see in eventing horses right um like this is kind of how they would go in the cross country section of the competition it's really open kind of really like stepping through quite a bit of head movement which isn't terrible but it's also like just like I'm not a fan of it but it's it's still it's like so crouched in behind and i don't know why it is like it's kind of like the the hip joint is very um sloped and it's just so very very animated i don't mind the fact that it's very like that it's kind of goes pretty high 
I don't mind that because this whole thing feels like that feels like a, a thoroughbred thing. Like, you know, if you've ever seen thoroughbred horses race, there's a lot of hip, a lot of behind knee action going on because they're really going for it. You know what I mean? Makes sense. But again, here we have the whole this horse is about to reach forward and it still has his little T-Rex arms. So it's very stiff on the shoulder. If the, if the Dutch Wormblood was like over exaggerated, this one is on the complete opposite end of the scale, which gives this really like awkward outline, I think. That's why it looks a little bit weird. At least we have some good stretch here, which I appreciate. But again, it's kind of that weird angle of the fetlock that kind of messes things up, but it definitely looks better. Like this does not look all too bad. A clipping in the tail here, and I'm hoping this haunch is actually finishing and not doing this weird bend here. But it doesn't look great because what is this? Um, like there's an awkward angle here because again, this section is bone, this section is bone, this is muscle, and will do this. The joint should be doing this, yes. Okay, so a lot of um, awkward movement here. It looks almost like it's carp backed. I don't know if that's an expression in English, but it's an expression in Swedish, saying that they have a carved back, which is like they're basically the back isn't like kind of has a nice little slight sway to it. It kind of goes the opposite way. Obviously, it has the saddle on, but it, like it almost looks like it would kind of like go like this. Like there's no arch in it in the back. It's just like kind of the other way around. <laughs> It's not a terrible, this is not a terrible middle canter, but it's not great. It just feels like very long legs. Um, so let's do the extended canter. Whoa, okay, calm down. Okay, that is not good, sorry. Okay, here we have the issue. What is this? Why is it crouched like that? This is, this is the problem here. It's just like, this looks weird. There's a weird angle here. This shape is not consistent. Like the the leg is not consistent. The fetlock never straightens out. Weird. You can kind of see it here. It goes down to the knee, and then it has this weird S shape through the hoof. Very strange. This is so exaggerated. The movements. You can see here the weird clipping of the haunches. Why does it go up and then out? Why is this not a consistent frame? I know I'm probably sounding really picky and really like negative here. And I am a little bit negative. I So far, I am a little bit disappointed in this horse. The reason why is because we've seen so many incredible horses that have been animated. I'm not sure who animated this horse. Um, I have not looked into it. I don't know if you can even look into it, if there's like a database for who animates which horse. But um, maybe they're new. Great. Again, it's not, like it, it's not like it's a bad horse, but it's like compared to some of the others, it's not good. Um, and there's a lot of things that feel very uncomfortable with it. Like, it just has so much movement that feels so exaggerated. And it feels so forced. Again, never fully straightening out. Like, it, there's so much... This is a, such an awkward moment. It shouldn't be an awkward moment. It should be firmly planted to the ground, fully stretched out and behind. But it's not. Because it always has that weird crouching thing. Ah. That is so unfortunate. Like, it has so much leg, and I feel like that's kind of what the animators have kind of shot themselves on the foot with. That it's like, it's too leggy. <laughs> it's just like, there's too much leg to animate, and it doesn't make sense. Maybe it breaks their rigging a little bit, or the rigging is just poor. I'm not sure how much flexibility they have with different models. But it's like, it just feels too long, too awkward. It looks like a, like a... You ever seen a young Grand Denois? Like the those big dogs? That's what this looks like. It looks like or like or just a massive youngster. That's really what it looks like. It's just all leg, no coordination. It's not refined, it's not proper. It's just like it looks really, really awkward. It looks heavy, it doesn't look like it's quick and snappy. Like comparing this to like the Mustang, for example, like the extended canter of the Mustang or like the quick gallop of the Mustang, because that one is so good. This one is just like too much and I don't like it. That's such a shame. It, it is such a shame. Before we start looking at the jumping, the backup animation is fine. I feel like this one is probably one that they reuse a lot, which makes sense because it's not really an animation you need or use or whatever. Um, okay, let's take a look at the rear, I guess. 
this i feel like this is definitely a reused animation from the belgian why are the front legs inside of the chest and like kind of like it's like he's doing this the whole time it looks so awkward and so uncomfortable like here there's a fully like it's like supposed to extend its front leg right but it's still just like attached to the elbow the elbow is not loose if that makes sense like it doesn't make sense for this leg here to be fully extended it's like it's doing this basically if you can see in my camera it's like it's doing this instead of doing this which is very strange and i don't really like it i'm not a huge fan of the the belgian rear anyways because it's a little bit just because of how uneven it is and it's very hard to take pictures of it's cool but it's like not my favorite but this just looks like a bad version of it of course it looks gorgeous but the movement is just not there, which is such a shame. I feel like you're probably going to be able to take some really nice pictures of it. But I know that I'm going to be picky as all hell when I'm taking pictures riding this horse. Because I hate like when the animations look weird or wonky and the joints look like weird. And I'm going to have to struggle to find a moment where it doesn't for this horse. But I guess we will have a look at the jumps as well. Where I have to train a little bit and get this up to level seven because there is a special move for this horse, with it, which is like the bouncing thing, uh, the bounces. So we will check that out. See here, you can see the thing as well. It's just so it's not straight. It when you look from behind in the full gallop, you see how much it moves side to side and like it looks so like awkward. This looks like a you know a teenager who was just had a growth spurt and has no idea of like how big they are anymore. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that it tends its ears a little bit when jumping because that looks, that just looks uncomfortable. And it does look very stiff in the neck when jumping. The jumping itself isn't terrible. But it's just like it's a little bit stiff and a little bit awkward. I feel like most of the most of the horses are in the short collected canter jump. That's fine, I guess. It has that awkward Dutch warm blood jumping where it's super uneven with its front legs, which is a bother. I've gone over that in that video. And I need to do it all again. <laughs> but basically I would get this horse checked out. Okay, middle canter. Um, okay, if we take away the fact that the character glides a lot again, why does it look so? Why does it have to look so angry? It pins its ears. It looks so uncomfortable. Like very high neck. The Belgian kind of had a high neck as well, but they did have very tucked under front legs, which made it feel like a little bit more of logical is the right word, but it, like it didn't look as out of shape because now it's just like it looks stiff, high with its neck, and then it's like front legs are kind of down and like not tucked up. So it just looks like something's going on up here. It looks like it would have like kissing spine or something with the way it moves and how it acts. Let's jump in the extended again. Why does it look so angry? Like it even has, it almost has a pain face as well. Like it's so tense over the eyes. That is not fun. This is not fun to take pictures of. Like, it just looks uncomfortable. Again, the front, like, the front leg's not hanging on. Hind legs looks fine here, but the front leg's not, like, tucking under properly. And, you know, and it kind of lands the same way that the Bajan does with its, like, where it feels... Oh, God. Where it just, like, it feels like it finishes the jump itself quite late and kind of, like, snaps onto the ground, which is, like, eh, whatever. Not a huge bother. Like it feels like the the hind legs kind of float for eternity before landing like why are they here why are they not under itself because it's obviously landed in front as you can see how how flexed the the fetlock is so why is it not like under itself about to catch it like about to catch itself basically but yeah those pinned ears are not it man what's wrong with you friend i feel like we need an evaluation I'm so sorry. I hate being negative in these videos. I do. But it's like, this is not it. <laughs> like, this is... 
I don't know what reference videos they've been watching, but it's like this horse looks uncomfortable. Which is such a disappointment because it's gorgeous. The coats are so brilliant. The idle animations are fun and quirky. Um, not a fan. Not at all, unfortunately. But we shall continue. Um, oh yes, we should probably look at the hard stop just for, for semantics. That's quick, that's quick and effective. I like that. That's that looks way better than like the Dutch one blood that had its weird like um half trot step fall into pieces kind of thing. <laughs> what we will do, as always, we will I will go and train a little bit, get this horse up to level seven so we can check out it's level seven, right? Yes. So we can have a look at the special movement. Um and then I will also try to evaluate a little bit how this horse feels to ride. Because the main bother is just like, you see how, how wonky it moves, how much side to side it moves. I don't know, there's just like a lot of movement. It's very bothering. It looks very wobbly to ride. Like it's even, even if I'm looking into the distance where I'm going, it looks like it distracts me. It's that bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I notice how much it's like swaying side to side. Okay, I've been training a little bit now. It's not fun to ride, basically. Or fun to ride. That's not, that's the wrong word. But it, it doesn't feel smooth or satisfying or like enjoyable to ride if that makes sense a horse i really enjoy riding is the belgian warmblood it's really quick feels agile it feels like just like straightforward this one is just so wobbly and it really distracts me the whole time which is a bit of a shame and it also just like feels really clunky um like obviously the stats and the speed and the handling isn't actually different from any other horse but the animations just feel really uncomfortable and Let's see, heavy. Um, and that is such a shame. <laughs> because, like I said, the horse is gorgeous. And I think it's gonna probably... It's probably gonna look decent in pictures. But, uh... Yeah, I, I'm... I, I don't want to say I'm disappointed because that feels very harsh as well. Because, obviously, there are people who've made this horse and I'm very grateful. Um, that's why I play this game. I play this game for the horses. But it's like, uh, this horse just does not live up to, not necessarily expectation, but just like, it doesn't live up to the quality of some of the other horses that we've seen recently, in the recent years. Because some of them are so good. And then this one just feels so awkward and clunky, and it doesn't feel refined. It feels, the model itself looks gorgeous and looks like one of these newer, like, almost Gen 4 type-esque horses. But the animations feel like it's an early gen 3 that's the only way i can i can put it um and that's what it feels like when i'm riding it it feels it just doesn't feel good if that makes sense um which is a huge disappointment to be honest all right a lot of poles <laughs> whoa okay let's see i'm assuming it's not space that doesn't really make sense okay hello <laughs> It's giving the Andalusian, or is it Blue Lusitano? No, it's the Andalusian that can do this, right? Or that has that rear. What is that lower leg, though? <laughs> you gotta hold on a little bit better than that, I think. But here it looks good. Here it actually opens up its front legs. I didn't know it had that, but I mean, that's cool, I guess. <laughs> the way she sits on it is a little bit weird, but... It's cute. It's a cool little trick. I like that. Like, had the rear been just this, I would have honestly kind of been okay with that. It doesn't have to be more than that. That's the thing. Had this been the normal rear, then I would have been completely fine with that. Because here it feels like a lot more relaxed in the front legs, and it's like this movement makes fine. It doesn't feel like it's makes fine. Feels fine. It doesn't feel like it's it's stuck or forced or whatever. Okay, how do we actually line this up? Is it just okay? Let's see if it works, I guess. Oh, it wasn't bad. It's cute. See, just the difference that a couple of pricked ears makes. Like, that looks so much more relaxed. It looks fun. It looks like it's, you know, having a good time. That cell, that stretch is weird, but whatever. We'll ignore that. But, like, the normal jump is so tense and stiff and uncomfortable. Like, it just looks uncomfortable and unhappy, and it doesn't jump well. 
it kind of just like floats up from the ground lands weirdly it just feels weirdly timed and it the thing that bothers me the most is the fact that it has pinned ears like it looks uncomfortable and it looks like it's not enjoying life at all which is such a shame okay final thoughts on this horse quotes and the model itself if you look away from the fact that it has very improper little feetsies <laughs> um besides that the model itself looks great i think it looks gorgeous it looks so good i love it the animations are not up to standard and that standard is set by themselves mind you i'm not expecting this to be like a a, a fully realistic uh perfect game that's not what i'm saying but it's like Obviously, you can always improve, and it's always more fun, if, if, in my opinion, anyways, if the animations are good. And they have done some really, really good horses. This is not one of them. Uh, they cost, what was it, 900 If I hadn't made this video, I don't think I would have bought the horse. The coats are gorgeous. I'm going to try to take some pictures now for Instagram. It's probably going to look good in pictures. I don't doubt that. But I, in my opinion, it's just like I, I would not have bought this horse otherwise um the animations are that uncomfortable for me personally if you like them or if you just don't care about this then why are you watching this video first off because that's kind of the whole point um but like that's fine but i i like analyzing i like looking at these horses i like horses i like studying them i like understanding them and that's kind of why i'm saying that this horse feels so uncomfortable and like it's either either like it's a super young and awkward horse that needs more time to grow or it's an older horse that is severely underdeveloped poorly educated and needs like at least a couple of injections in some of the joints it's just not good i don't want to say it's bad but it's i don't want to say it's not good but it's like it's it's so compared to some of the other stuff that they've done it's very lackluster in my opinion that being said he's very cute and i like him <laughs> without further ado uh that will be it for today um thank you guys for watching i would love to hear your opinions on it especially when it's a horse like this i know the community does become pretty hostile so remember we are polite here constructive criticism is not the same as saying that this horse sucks and i hate it because that's not true i don't think this horse sucks i don't hate it but i don't like a lot of things about it <laughs> that being said there's a developer there's an animator there's a designer behind all these they are people too they're trying to do their job that's kind of why i'm making these videos as well because I am close with friends with a lot of people in the game or that work on the game and I know that a lot of people who are involved in the game actually follow my content and maybe this will reach the right people and maybe that this is maybe this is some feedback that they will take on. A girl can dream. That being said, I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!